mind. Choose your demeanor at all times. Never meet a fellow human being with force or coercion. Strive to live by reason. Smile because you're alive. Remember, happiness is the ultimate act of defiance. <laughs> yep. Thank you. That's the longest subchapter of the book. It's a bit of a personal indulgence there. The rest are much shorter. Uh, and, and it's not actually a good one to get a flavor for what the book is about. So we have just five well, minutes left. Because we only have five minutes left, I have to say this. This book is going to be called Freedom, right? Freedom. Freedom. Now, not all of us get to be Adam Kokesh. And not all of us get to be Socrates. But we've all, we anybody that's studied any type of philosophy has read Socrates. And how many people here have heard of the ethics of liberty, right? Someday, I want to be able to say that I helped Adam Kokesh write freedom. Because I came here today, I listened to what he had to say, maybe I even donated something. A lot of you don't, maybe know, maybe don't know, Adam's traveling across the country to speak to groups like this. And it, it takes a little bit of resources. Gas in the car, staying at a hotel, living on the road. But look what he's doing, he's getting our input for what could be one of the greatest liber libertarian works of our age. You know, Ethics of Liberty was the age behind us, right? And now we're looking at who's going to bring us the evolution of that message for our time. And I can see from looking at this and just from listening to what you just wrote that that, that could be it right there. I mean, how many people need to hear that they control, no matter how many chains they put on us, or whether they take the Internet away from us or not, that we control our own liberty here, okay? So, if, with the few minutes we got left, I would really encourage everybody here to make a small donation to Adam's effort as he travels across the country. He's living on the road. It's a tough life right now, but he's doing it for us to help spread the message. And, you know, it, it, I wish I could go with him. But since I can't, I'm doing everything I can just by being here, opening up my house to him, and hopefully you guys will donate a little bit to help him on his way. Okay? Thanks, RJ. And, and I guess so that we're not really pushing it here, um, I've got an early, uh,